tell us about your injury how you know you 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 know had an injury in 2010 um, can you talk through talk us through what happened and what led you to having losing your legs uh, so um, we were um, we, we went there for six months mm. um, and after six months you you know try to keep uh, save ourselves and come back that's what is, uh, what is the plan and um, on 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 that when, on the day when I was injured, um, there was um, uh, there was a a, a um, mission that you have to accomplish. So we had uh, two missions. <clears throat> one thing is we are just very new there and just familiarize with the area. So with the one thing. Another thing was we had uh, two engineers. So uh, so you know local people well was damaged and mm. that's how they drink the water from there yeah. so so we went to went and survey that well uh, and our job was to you know give a protection uh, to those engineers um that that's worth it mm. so so we were on the way and and just you know you know i was uh it was about three four four o'clock in the afternoon it's very warm mm. um and um i was 10th person um in the line, so we were all in single file. We were, uh, we were twenty people, and suddenly went bang, and you know, my right ear started ringing, and yeah, my left sensed. Mm -hmm. What was going through when you, you know, at that moment where there's this explosion, and you, did you lose consciousness for a few seconds? By the way. Um. I think I didn't. I think I didn't. You didn't um, So the the first ho so first thing I noticed was m my right ear was ringing. Yeah. Um. Uh, and uh, um. And there was dust everywhere, and people were kind of shouting. Mm. Um, you know, uh, our team. So they were calling. Uh, you know, man down. Man down is. Mm. You know, somebody hurt. Uh, so everybody knows in the team. So yeah. it's a sound. So and. Uh, did you notice immediately that your leg was gone? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I looked uh, down to right leg, and it was a, it wasn't there. Mm. Just immediately, uh, mm. it was a little, my left leg was there, but it was really badly injured. My so my combat dress was like fully blooded, mm. um, and also um, uh, you know it was like a bone in the skin. Mm. You know it wasn't in the right place. My mm. left leg. Um, it was inju I injured my right arm, so mm. I couldn't able to move my right arm. So so painful, um, and I used my left leg, and I had a tourniquet on the that side. So we have a standing order procedure. So, so uh, everyone's put their first kit in that pocket. Yeah, yeah. You know, your your ammunition is in one of the pocket, right? Mm. So so this is this this is how we carry. So your let's say your stressor is always on the top of your back, something like that. You mm. know, that's how we carry the thing. So couldn't able to reach that side but uh yeah, yeah the, the first thing it wasn't really painful yeah. um, initially um uh, it just kind of i thought that you know uh, you know you know like say when you like uh, kill the animals you, you know you yeah. know it, you know it comes like a blood comes yeah. like a really yeah. it really didn't come that way so it's like a that when you cut a vein yeah. and it just drips slightly you know yeah. then it flows mm -hmm. that's how it happened to my legs so it initially just kind of blood just kind of slowly comes out yeah. and then it, then it flows faster yeah. And, yeah. and bigger so that's how um, that's how i saw it initially it wasn't painful i thought like like it's like you got yeah. pinched yeah and uh, that's what I felt, uh, and later, once the blood started flowing, then um, it was more painful. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't, and and my mouth and throat started getting dry. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of my friend was there at the back, and he gave me the water, uh, and I just I was keep keep soaking, keep soaking mm -hmm. his camel bag, camel camel bag. So. Um, yeah, I was very trusty. Letter was okay. painful. What was what was going through in your head, emotionally and mentally? Like you know, because did you think like, oh my, am I gonna die? Did you have that feeling, or do you think like mm. actually I'm I'm safe, I'm fine, or did you feel that you're going to die? And what sort of emotions or mental thoughts were what's going through your head? The, the initially it was like um, it was like you know we train everything mm. so. 
is everyone safe? Mm. You know, is is it, am I just getting injured or any other guys also injured? And also, um, I thought about the we call all the time about safety. So, is someone firing? Mm. If someone is firing, you have to fire back, even if you are injured or whatever yeah. it is. Uh, you know, so that also, you know, is there any firing coming on? And that's what I feel. And is other people safe or not? So that's the first thing. Then, I thought about, you know, I. I can, exactly knew that who's gonna come and rescue me who's gonna do what because that's how we train we we practice before we actually go to deploy to the ground uh, so I exactly knew that the first thing my in my mind more about was about uh, the guys that I went with so um, uh, in our multiple I was a second in command and all the all the guys was very young and I was the most senior um, yeah um, most senior Gorkha in the in in, the, in our multiple, um, and we had a platoon commander. He was uh, quite um, uh, new uh, mm. who came, and whatever happens, then everybody look at used to look at my face and what he's gonna say. You know, that's how it's like a. I was kind of their kind of you know father figure to make a decision and guide uh, guide my platoon commander. Mm. You know, um, to to make a decision on whatever we make a decision on the ground because. If you make a one wrong decision, everybody will die there. Yeah. So, um, so first thing I was thinking about those boys first. Then secondly, I thought about my family. Um, that really hurts me, especially like so when you when our you, you know uh, you know our uh, you know Nepalese, especially Nepalese parents, you know when you, their children goes away and we bless them that you know however you went come back that way. And we actually used to joke, um, you know when. We, uh, you want to go with your friends quite a lot about that, you know. So, but I, I thought that I couldn't able to go as I, you know, I came up, mm. uh, and and that really really hurt me. Um, um, I couldn't be the same for my family. Mm. You know what they're gonna do? Um, how am I am I gonna give them food? Um, then. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's that that that's the main thing that it was about. Um, then I thought. I think. Fine. Lastly, I thought about: Am I gonna survive? Mm. Am I gonna keep safe? Am I gonna die here, or will I ever see my family again? Um, yeah, that was um, quite hard. But uh, when when this all things are going through, I uh, had that heli inbound in ten minutes. Mm. So did anyone anyone like die on that explosion? Did no, no. Even I was the only one who, who I was injured, so oh. I simply, um, I, I think I stepped on the uh, pressure plate, so something is stepped on and brought. Uh, and so you were walking? I, yeah, you were walking. I, yes, yeah, I, I think I was very unlucky guy that, you know, ninth person crossed the same route and I was the one, and ten person to yeah. explode it, but, uh, you know. But in hindsight, you know, life. may have been a blessing in disguise. Mm. In, in a way, you know, you just you can always look look mm. at it in a different perspective, right? Yeah, and I was very happy that uh, when I read a stu- a, you know news about you know Taliban and US signed a uh, peace deal, oh. so uh, one day, if to be honest, uh, if I get a chance, I'll go back and mm. uh, um, see mm. that place. Maybe just thanking the Tal- thanking Taliban that for that done to me. <laughs> That's nice. 